Hey, good morning. Welcome back to 1 Samuel chapter 24. Our study today will take us from verses 8 through 10. Uh, Saul was in the cave, maybe to take a bathroom break. David and his men were already there. The men incited David to rise up and take care of this guy, this problematic guy that's chasing David for no reason. But David didn't do it. So let's see what David says here. So at the end of verse 7, Saul exits the cave. So we'll pick it up at verse 8. David also arose afterward, went out of the cave, and called out to Saul, saying, My lord the king! And when Saul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth and bowed down. And David said to Saul, Why did you listen to the words of men who say, Indeed, David seeks your harm? Look, this day your eyes have seen that the Lord delivered you today into my hand in the cave, and someone urged me to kill you. But my eye spared you, and I said, I will not stretch out my hand against my Lord, for he is the Lord's anointed. Now, we'll carry on with this David's talk a little bit more tomorrow morning, and then maybe get into Saul's response after that. But here's David. He's making himself, you know, Saul's soldiers are there now. David comes out, and David calls. They're within voice distance, aren't they? Right? And what you have here is David says, hey, by the way, could have killed you back there. In fact, my guys told me to kill you back there. But guess what? I didn't do it because I have no ill intent towards you. Here you are. You've chased me across the wilderness, chased me across the forest into this space. And I'm out here living in caves, right? And here I had an opportunity, easy opportunity to kill you. You were delivered into my hand and I didn't do it. Think about that, Mr. King. So that's kind of where David's going with this. And so uh, we'll, we'll carry on with this again uh, tomorrow morning. But David didn't have to do that. He could have slipped away and just kind of thought this through some more or something like that. But he doesn't do that. And he's putting himself out there. He's putting himself publicly out there as saying, look, I don't have any ill intention toward this king. And this, this word has to keep filtering out that David has had many opportunities to kill King Saul. Here's one of them right here, a very clear one. Uh, but he's not taking him up on that. So maybe that's not maybe that's not David's plan. David's plan is not to kill. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. And uh, David is not going to wantonly kill King Saul. But we'll see more tomorrow morning. Lessons for us. Sometimes we just need to tell the truth. David tells the truth. Hey, I'm not, it's not my business to kill you. I'm not even trying to kill you. In fact, I've done everything I could not to kill you. Can you cut me you know, some mercy here. So telling the truth, even though Saul's going to have trouble hearing that, needs to be done sometimes too anyway, doesn't it? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, please be our guide. Please, you were uh, David's guide at this very decisive moment. Thank you that a pattern was set there, a pattern of care and mercy and respect and rev uh, respect for the king, proper respect, now, Lord, again, we look to you. Please be our leader and guide. Help us to take the right decisions and help us to know how much to say and how much not to say when we've taken the right decision to follow you. Now, Lord, we want it on the record that we're trying to do right, and you be our guide for that. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Hey, friends, God will be our guide, and we can make good decisions like David made that moment in the cave. God be with you in all that you do.